the Memphis Express have a really, really big problem. The problem is they don't trust their quarterbacks. And look, I get it. The Memphis Express's quarterback is Christian Hackenberg. Christian Hackenberg went 7 for 18 passing, had only 54 yards and an interception. Like, he didn't play great. I'm not defending his play. And even when they put in the back of Brandon uh, Silvers, he wasn't much better. He also threw an interception. But a big part of why the Express's quarterbacks didn't do well was because of their coaching. The play calling was terrible. It was horribly predictable. And here's one sequence, for example, I want to talk about with the Memphis Express. They ran the ball 11 or 12 times in a row, completely just pounding the rock over and over and over again, never running play action. And what's even more surprising about the fact they ran the ball 12 times in a row was that it worked. <laughs> they were moving the ball down the field. But what they never did was run play action, which means they never faked the, ran, faked the run and used it to, use, to utilize the fact that players were sucking up to stop the run and throwing the ball downfield. When you run the ball that many times, it gives you a huge advantage that the Memphis Express didn't use. They never used play action, and it was just baffling. I didn't understand why they weren't using the advantage they had to their benefit. But it's even weirder and even worse of an offense is that when the Memphis Express did finally throw the ball, they didn't even try deception. They went with five wide receivers, didn't even have a running back in the backfield, making their offense entirely one-dimensional, all run or all pass. They only threw the ball on third and long, and they clearly just did not trust their quarterback at all. What it showed was they're heavily predictable. You know, if the only time they're going to throw the ball is third and 15, hey, we're going to run a defense to stop passing. It's easy. And they weren't setting up their quarterbacks to succeed. It's awful, it's predictable, and it's bad coaching. And I think the biggest problem, I think the root of the problem for the Memphis Express on offense is our head coach, Mike Singletary. Mike Singletary is the former head coach of the San Francisco 49ers, and he's always struggled with quarterbacks. This is a guy who was a Hall of Fame NFL linebacker, right? He is a highly accomplished football player. The problem is he never, ever trusts his quarterbacks. As long as he's been a head coach, this has always been a problem with his. Mike Singletary sees his quarterbacks as an obstacle to overcome rather than a valuable asset you can use to win games. Here's my case in point, is for three years, Mike Singletary was the head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. He went 18 and 22, 18 wins, 22 losses. When Mike Singletary was fired, he said this. He said, in this league, you got to have a quarterback if you want to win games. Here is the problem. <laughs> Mike Singletary's quarterback was Alex Smith. And what Mike Singletary insinuated was that Alex Smith was the reason why he couldn't win games. Rather than the coach taking the blame, rather than the coach saying, we got to coach better, we got to coach our players better, he blamed the quarterback. And what's even more bizarre and even more hilarious, actually, is that ever since Mike Singletary was fired by the 49ers, Alex Smith has been really, really effective. We've learned that with good coaching, hey, guess what? Alex Smith can actually play quarterback. He's not the greatest, but he's really solid. He's above average. He's better than Kirk Cousins, who makes a whopping amount of money. Alex Smith is an above average quarterback. You just need to give him good head coaching. Here's the stats. Since Mike Singletary left the 49ers, Alex Smith has had a 64.78% completion percentage, 142 touchdowns, 48 interceptions, not to mention multiple playoff berths. Alex Smith proved Mike Singletary wrong. Mike Singletary was horribly horribly wrong about Alex Smith. And the problem was Mike Singletary just never believed in him. Mike Singletary never even gave him a chance to succeed. Again, the entire approach from Mike Singletary is that our team's going to play really good defense. And his attitude is that they got to survive the fact that they have to have a quarterback. He doesn't want a quarterback. He doesn't believe in quarterbacks and he doesn't see them as an asset. Again, Mike Singletary sees quarterbacks as an obstacle to overcome. That is a terrible terrible approach to being a football coach. It's not going to work, especially on an AAF team where your goal is to develop young quarterbacks. Um, you know, Memphis quarterback Christian Hackenberg is in a terrible, terrible position. His coach, his coach, Mike Singletary, not only doesn't trust him, he's probably never going to trust him no matter what happens. And that's just a toxic environment to play quarterback. Mike Singletary is a massive, massive problem for the Memphis Express and the Memphis, Memphis Express are always going to struggle at quarterback 
because of their head coach, Mike Singletary, and his approach to coaching quarterbacks. It's always going to be a problem as long as he's there in Memphis. Oh, I, I hate doing this. It makes me feel uncomfortable. I really don't like self-promotion. It makes me feel like a used car salesman, but I got to do it. So if you don't know, this is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my favorite thing in the world. And you can subscribe on iTunes, SoundCloud. You can find it on YouTube. You can find the full entire hour-long podcast on YouTube. You can also find shorter breakout clips like the one you just watched. Please do me a favor. If you like anything I had to say, maybe you hate me and you're mad about something. Share this podcast with your friends. Share it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you want to do. Help me grow by telling your friends about this show.